Hello again and welcome to another 5-Minute Fly the Wing Flight Maneuver video. This month, a maneuver you'll most likely demonstrate on your private pilot checkride and hopefully never have to perform for real. The emergency approach in simulated landing. Now, an engine out emergency requires you to land the plane under control as slow as possible with minimum vertical descent and the nose slightly up. That's the way you're going to most likely survive an emergency landing. But the reality is the altitude at which your engine out emergency occurs is going to dictate how much time you have to troubleshoot and set up for a challenging off-airport landing. At low altitude, for example on climb out right after takeoff, perhaps all you can do is pitch for best glide airspeed and land straight ahead. Well, today we're going to go through the entire procedure at an altitude that gives us enough time to demonstrate all the components and variables available to you when time and altitude are not a major concern. The emergency approach, much like loss procedures in the diversion, are high workload tasks. You have to perform many items rather quickly and consecutively while on a parallel track continuing to fly the airplane and get it into a position to successfully complete the task. I wrote an article on the emergency approach. You can review the checklist items I use in this video by visiting the blog section of my website. And once you've completed those A through G checklist items, you can then focus entirely on getting the plane on the ground under control. So let's go out now and see how this will work as I demonstrate an emergency approach and simulated landing with student Pete in a Cherokee Warrior. So first thing, we've lost our engine. Pitch for best glide. Now, I'm not going to sit here and wait to get to 73, but as I'm pitching up and starting to approach that glide, I'm looking around, and I'm going to spot one of these. I'm going to say, this is kind of where I want to land. Uh, the wind's coming from the west. We just left Ramona, so I'm going to land this way into the wind. I'm going to circle here and get on a left downwind to yeah, land Yeah, you're there. just going to create your, your yeah, pattern. Yeah, I'm going to circle right here. This is going to be, I'm going to try to create downwind right under me. Yeah. Uh, so that's my best field. C is checklist. Fuel pump on. Mags master mixture. Rich, if we just switch fuel, I'd go back and switch it again. Right. Uh, at that point, I'd pull out the checklist if I couldn't get it started and go through that and see you know, what I might have missed. D is declare. We were just on Ramona. I would flip over there. Ramona Tower on the dirt strips north of Ramona. We got an engine out emergency. Please send help immediately. Uh, I'd go to 7700 over here. I'd hit the ELT button and flip that. Uh, the other thing I can do for exit preparation is I'd wedge the door open, take that big old POH or your bag or whatever and jam it in the door to keep the door open. Our uh, fire prevention, when we get on final, I'm going to bring mixture all the way back, turn the master off, turn the key off, turn the fuel shut off off if we were actually going to land there. I've targeted this area. It's about 2,000 feet around here, so I want to try to be downwind to beam at about 3,500 feet. I think I got enough room to do one more turn here and get downwind. 3,000 to 3,500 will get me set up for downwind to beam. Uh, so I'll try to do one more turn, try to keep it at 73. If I do a steep turn, I'm going to lose even more altitude, right? Yeah, yeah. So shallow bank angle all the way around here, see how that works keep out. Keep it at 70, 73. All right, and then the ground plan is there's a house right under here that I saw. So when we get on the ground, we're going to get out of the airplane. Remember, you can smash the window out with your thing. So now I'm done with the A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I just rolled through all that. Now all I have to do is land the plane, right? Yeah. So that's what I recommend in doing this procedure is roll through that. Now what I've done is I've got this thing trimmed. Now I'm in a bank, but it's trimmed. It's flying hands-free. It's like if you get the thing trimmed, it'll go a lot easier as well. Yeah. This is where I'm going to clear the engine. I'm going to add a little power, just make sure the engine still works. And then when I do that, I'm pitching up just a little bit. Yeah. You pick up just a couple feet. You don't get much for nothing, but I'm picking that up. So there's my field. Look at this. Here comes 3,500 feet. I'm almost downwind to beam. Uh, I'm going to land about a third of the way down. Do you see where this road Just here before, intersects? Yeah, yeah. That's about where I'm going to target. So I'm almost downwind to beam where I want to land. So we'll say this is my downwind lake. And you see at about 1,000 feet, I'm actually about 500 feet higher yeah. than that. Yeah. But the landing area should be right off my wing. I actually might be a little close to it. So I'm going to just do some gentle S-turns here. I'm flying away from the landing area now, which I don't like to do. Right. So I'm not going to go that far away from it. The right. one thing I can do is bring in one notch of flaps now as I turn base. I don't want to land short. What I'm going to try to do is avoid their house, too. I don't actually want to fly over somebody's house when we get down there. Uh, I'll make another position report just because we're low. San Diego Northeast, traffic white Cherokees over the dirt strips north of Ramona, 3,000 feet, simulated engine out emergency, San Diego Northeast. So here's my base leg. I got 73 dialed in. Got, you know, five, 600 feet per minute descent is about what you're going to get. Finally gets back to trim speed. All right, and here comes my final. I'll crank in another notch of flaps. 
can make some gentle S turns, I got the field made. So now I can actually, as I come around on the final, flip this thing a little bit. I've actually got a little, I've got a little right rudder. And yeah. I'm pitching for 63 all the way down. See anybody home down there actually? Uh, there may be cars. I can do some gentle S turn maneuvers. I'm going to do them to the right just to stay clear of them. Yeah. And basically, that's about as low as we're going to take this. So we get within 500 feet. You think we can make it? 